Hello everyone and welcome to Cisco Security Technologies. My name is Chris Avance. I'm going to be your instructor throughout this entire series. I'm very happy to be back doing a, another video series. Uh, this is actually my fifth course, um, it, you know, here. So, so very happy to be doing security. Um, and I know you're going to enjoy this course. So let's, uh, let's, let's start taking a look at what we're going to look at. Um, first thing, let me give you a little bit of background on myself. Um, if you haven't seen one of the other videos that I've done, um, you know, again, Chris Avance. I've been in doing the Cisco game for, for quite some time. I started whenever I was 17, originally with uh, GE Capital uh, IT Solutions, and I've been on the integration service provider partner side ever since. Um, got my first Cisco certification around 18th birthday, CCNA, of course. Um, a lot different back then than it is, to, than it is now. Um, and I've got about 30 certifications. Most of them are from Cisco in pretty much every category. I've got four professional level certifications. Um, I'm an instructor and also um, I've passed the uh, CCIE written uh, for route switch and uh, hopefully one of these days we'll get around to taking the lab. I've never attempted the lab, um, but, uh, but anyway, um, I've been dealing with voice, wireless, security, you name it. If it's got the Cisco logo on it, I've probably installed it a couple dozen times. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm very passionate about security, all types of infrastructure, every, every type of infrastructure or network product you can imagine uh, has some security involved and you should know those sides. And this is a great course to kind of get your feet wet with security. So um, very excited to be doing this course with you. So um, if you're asking yourself what you should know to be in here, well, it's, it's very simple. This is the associate level uh, CCNA course. So Basically, any of these specializations that you do, they're designed, and I design my courses along this blueprint as well, that as long as you have that fundamental knowledge that you typically get with the CCNA or even with the CSENT, the CSENT today is just as hard as the old CCNA was, um, then you're, you're right where you need to be. But you definitely need to understand the, the foundational concepts of networking, uh, gateways, subnetting, um, access lists, all that kind of fundamental stuff. Um, you know, Ethernet and the different protocols, you definitely need to have a good grasp on um, because this is, a, this is, even though it's an associate level course, there is so much we're going to talk about. But as long as you have that foundational knowledge there, I can get you through this, no problem. Especially if you want to get certified. The, uh, the CSEN is required. It, now it's not even the CCNA you have to have anymore. If you just get the CSEN, um, that's, the, that's the first step required to achieve the CCNA security certification. So. As long as you've got that um, or higher, maybe you've got a CCMP already in voice, you're looking to get security. I'm glad you're here. I'm gonna help you out with it too. So um, here's the way I design all my courses. And if you've had one of my other courses, you've, you probably know this, but um, anyway, um, Cisco is not shy about putting their, uh, what's gonna be required for the exam on their website. They tell you exactly what they're gonna talk about and exactly what they're gonna test you on. Um, because they know it's difficult enough, even with you knowing what they're going to test you on, um, you know, so, so they actually, they put out and they said, here's, here's the things you need to know, and here's how much of that we're going to be putting in the exam, plus or minus, right? So anyway, um, this is one of those courses, though, it's not, it's, it's actually a lot different than, than most other courses in that it's spread around so much through so many different things, there's not like one area you could be great at and pass the exam. You've got to know um, the diverse, you know, range of the unified security solution and the self-defending network to really get through this sucker. So there's a, there's a lot in here. And actually, I'm very happy with what Cisco's done in the last few years. They have made all of their testing and exams much, much harder than they used to be. And that protects the value of the certifications for those of us who have them, right? And those of us who uh, continue to, to, to get them and move up in the Cisco world. So, um, you know, don't worry that you're just now taking it. Whenever you get it, um, that's why it's valuable, is because, the, you know, they've set the bar very high. Even on the associate level exams, some of the associate level tests are more difficult than some of the professional level exams, right? It's not always that way, but sometimes it is. It's because you have to learn so many new topics, typically. Some of these topics may not be new to you. Like I said, if you're a CCMP voice and you're just now getting into security, you probably heard most of the things. You just don't don't have the hands-on with it, right? Well, um, we'll take care of that. But for those of you that are new, and these are all new topics, then it's, it's a lot of information. The good thing is you've got a video. You can always go back, rewind. But I'm going to talk about everything required to get you through this exam. So 
Um, that is common uh, security threats and also security on uh, and, and Cisco routers, uh, AAA on Cisco devices, um, iOS, ACLs, definitely talk about that some more. Uh, you did that in the CCNA, of course, but these get a little bit more uh, tricky, right? Um, and a little bit more better for, and a little bit more, a lot better for, for security, right? Also secure network management and reporting, we'll be talking about that. Common layer two attacks, um, Cisco firewall technologies, Notice these, these last three are the biggest percentages on the exam. So firewall technologies, IPS, and VPN technologies. So with the firewall technologies, we will be talking about the uh, router-based firewalls and also the ASA firewalls, okay? They're adaptive security appliances. So, and if you want a copy of the details of each of these sections, it actually, this document right here, will go through all of the details of each of these and say, here's exactly the things you should know. So what I would do is download this document, okay, there's the link. Download that document and do a checklist. After you feel like you've learned each thing, check it off, check it off, check it off. And then whenever you're done with it, go through the review questions and answers that we provide for you. Make sure you're competent and you get a passing score with that. Then go take the exam. Should be good to go. The great thing about this class that I love is I'm going to do everything except for some switching things on GNS3. And actually most of... Uh, the switching technologies I'm still going to do on GNS3 so you can practice it yourself. And I'm going to make all the lab files available for you on my blog. Okay, So we've got that as well. This is also a very exciting thing for security professionals because this is a course where you not only gain one credential, you gain two credentials. So if and when you pass, or let's just say when, not if, uh, when you pass this exam, if you're already a CSENT or you're already a CCNA or higher, then you will earn the CCNA security certification. Okay, the test is 640-554 IINS. Okay, and um, you will also get recognition. Okay, uh, for CNSS uh, certification 4011 certification. That's the Committee on National Security Systems. It basically says you have the understanding and knowledge required to implement a secure solution. And you also understand the business objectives and the corporate objectives about security risk and how to mitigate those risks and all of that. So, and, and you know, to be honest with you, there's so many terms and, and terminology that I've, I'm dedicating the first few chapters really on covering the terminology um, for security and business terms and all that kind of stuff, just so you get a good grasp of those. Because way too many times people just jump straight into configuring security products, but they don't understand the need behind it. You know, you know, like, why am I configuring this firewall on the inside of my network, right? That's typically an outside technology. Why am I doing it on the inside? Well, we're going to talk about all that, okay? Um, so you, you actually do get a letter and a certification um, from the CNSS. It's a recognition. It's 4011. And if you ever go up to the CCMP security level, you can move up to the 4013 recognition. And this 4011 recognition is the same one I believe you get if you get the Certified uh, Ethical Hacker uh, class. Now, we don't talk so much about hacking in general. I will be talking about hacking, and I will be talking about the hacking tools and penetration testing and things like that. Um, but this is not like a replacement for the Certified Ethical, ethical Hacking. This is a great um, foundation. You do so much more in, in the integration and preventing um, this technology, uh, you know, and securing your network in this class, where ethical hacking, a lot of times you're really looking at, uh, um, you know, one or two products and then most of it's theory. Well, this class is a lot of integration, little theory, but um, you should be prepared for both of those, really, um, with this class. So, um, all right, and actually, I've got, I don't know why I had voice written there, but this is security, of course. All right. So this is just kind of the certification options with Cisco. Um, obviously, they all nowadays start with the CSENT. It used to be that you had to have the CCNA um, to, to do any of the associate level courses. But now the CSENT is a prerequisite for the associate level courses. And then you can move on to the professional level courses. So what they've done is they've made the CCNA uh, route switch the new CCNA, basically, that, that specialized in route switch. So if you gain a CCNA, you're specialized at the associate level in route switch. Or you could be a CCNA security without ever taking part two of ICND. So they've separated that. 
but here's, like I said, the CSIN is now harder than the CCNA used to be, uh, for sure. There's a lot more in that, that CSINT than there was in the CCNA. Um, so if, as long as you have the CSINT certification and you take this uh, exam, that's going to get you your associate level security um, certification and also the CNSS recognition. Um, if you want to go the professional route, let me just pull up this uh, page. So for the professional route, I wanted to pull this up because this just changed, um, you know, in the last couple months. Uh, I forget the date, but it just changed in the last couple months. So the, the new exams are as follows. The Implementing Secure, Cisco Secure Access Solutions, and this is for the CCMP, right? So this is if you want to take it a step further. After you get your CCNA security, that is a prerequisite. Um, but once you're done with that, you can go and take these four exams. Um, secure Access Solutions, uh, Edge Network Security Solutions, Mobility Solutions, Secure Mobility Solutions, and Threat Control Solutions, and then you're a CCMP security, okay, with security specialization. Uh, you want to go up after that, then that's a CCIE. It's a two-exam, um, you know, route. It, there's actually no prerequisites for the CCIE. Um, you could just go take the CCIE written um, and... The written, it's like 350 bucks, and you do your uh, Q&A, and then you would have part one, but you're not really a CCIE even after you pass that. You've got to go take a lab, which is hands-on, eight-hour day, grueling certification, right? Um, that's why there's no prerequisite. But, but anyway, um, we're here. We're here for the CCNA-level security, so let's get you through that. Then the, uh, it's nothing but air and opportunity afterwards, right? Okay, so taking the exam you're going to take the 640-554, Introducing Cisco IOS Network Security. The uh, CSIN or CCNA um, or higher, and like I said, if you're in another vertical, maybe data center, wireless, any of those, and you're coming over to learn security, uh, welcome. Uh, this is, uh, you're, you're already pre-qualified for this. All you have to do is pass this one exam. Um, and if you're coming from CSINT, pre-qualified as well. Um, but if you don't have the CSINT, take that first and then take this and you can earn the CCNA security. 60 to 70 questions, um, 800 to 850 is the passing time and 90 minutes um, to take the exam. So, um, you know, like I said, we've got a lot to cover in this course. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a fun one. And we're going to talk about the fundamentals of uh, network security today. We're going to go all the way through uh, configuring iOS-based firewalls using tools and via CLI. We're going to go through configuring ASAs, um, you name it, talking about the different security solutions. And then to uh, wrap things up at the end, we're going to be talking about um, the new security management products. Cisco CSM has been around for a long time, but they have a new version of Cisco CSM called Prime Security Manager. So I'm going to be talking about that as well. I'm potentially showing that um, towards the end of class. That's not really a part of this, but it's a, it's a great thing to know kind of what's next. Um, as always, like I said, I'm going to make all the lab files available. I'm going to try to do 90% of the things this week out of GNS3 so you have that available. And without any further ado, I hope you're excited. Get strapped in, grab yourself some caffeine or a beverage, and let's get started. <laughs>